Hey, several people have been asking about how I do uh, my bracelets. I, uh, I don't fuse them together. I push about an inch and a half or so through the buckle, fold it over. Now when I first learned how to do this, I was using uh, paper clips. Now I get these little rubber bands that are 300 of them for a couple of bucks at the craft store. Make sure I keep it on the same side. Make sure that it argues with me because otherwise things will go smooth and we can't have that. And then when I spread it out, and, okay, stop it. <clears throat> okay, I got it up to this point because you guys didn't need to see me making a cobra stitch. But all you're doing here, you've got it folded over, you've got it rubber banded here. Fold that back over on it. And then when you bring these in, you have to bring them in slow and they usually will only catch one at a time. But you come on back till you get about halfway towards the rubber band. At that point, it is not going to move anywhere. Come in. Snip out the rubber band and finish it off like you would normally. <clears throat> Doing that saves me quite a couple of minutes on each one trying to do the fusion. And I also don't uh, have to deal with trying to get the wind up so that the fusion knot's not visible. And I'll trim and cut that afterwards. Okay, pause. All right, I also was talking about the way I do keychains. Uh, for these, I use two feet of each color. I have to, can't have the fan running when I'm doing that. Oh, and on one of my posts, I talked about taking my mechanics gloves and cutting them open, or cutting the fingers off so that I could not tear my hands up doing this. These are the gloves I was talking about. That one didn't get burnt before. Okay, all I'm going to do with these, I'm going to take two ends, fold it over a keychain, the same, ah, knock my rubber bands over, I'm so good at being videoed. Lock that on the same way I did with the buckle. Put that over, I put these hooks in my jig just for this. Bring this back down here, grab another one of these rubber bands, slide it over the end, put the rubber band on the hook, I bring this down, and I've got a little mark I've made on here that is about the right length. I can do either a straight cobra or a spiral. I think I'm going to do a spiral. And yeah, I know I got big beefy hands and it's hard to see what I'm doing. Sorry. Oh, and uh, for the people that kept put, um, or messaged me several times asking when I was going to put these since I said I would do it yesterday, I meant to film this this morning early, 
but it took me over 20 minutes to get all of the aluminum shavings out of my beard. And I could explain that a lot better, but I'm sitting here laughing at the people that are wondering what I'm talking about until I do my next post, which is going to be in a couple of days because I still have a lot of finishing to do on that project. But trying to get curly uh, aluminum shavings out of this beard. You got my beard in frame? I can. There you go. Trying to get curly aluminum shavings out of this beard takes time. But see, the same way, I'm just coming right up over the uh, parts I folded in. And this will be a nice matching keychain to the bracelet that I just made. I really like doing this combination, the, the red with black filament and the... the Tan. I really like this combination. So, <clears throat> bring that in really tight. Cut my rubber band. Come over here. Cut my rubber band. And it's a good thing those rubber bands are cheap. I'll trim that up and burn it in a little bit. I have a whole bucket full of, I'll trim them up and burn them in a little bits. 